Hello and welcome to episode 25 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here in cycle 34, day 2. Uh, we had a fun time last time working on improving our area over here with all sorts of different things. And that of course is going to continue today as we continue moving uh, some of our production that's up here down into our middle tier and explore some other things. Maybe even uh, start making it possible for this middle tier to be its own separate district try and cut down a little bit on the lag. Uh, but for right now, everything is looking pretty good. Uh, we had a bunch of stuff that was paused because we ran out of power during the drought. So we are going to get those going uh, soon as we continue building things. For right now, we probably just need to let the power reserves build up just a touch. Uh, we do have these large vertical frame flywheels, say on the five times fast, uh, that are working pretty well right here. Just going to let those go for a little bit more, and then we'll turn everything else back on. Uh, we have these tributes to Ingenuity that I paused because they consume a lot of power, uh, as well as all of our recreational things we put in. We need to add more of those all around the upside here, as well as everything else to make sure that we're doing the best that we can. But one of the things we started last time, we didn't quite get to anywhere else besides here, uh, was moving some power generation with these engines, uh, and putting some of our wood processing right next to where the wood actually is. We've got these giant storages for logs right here. And then we have, of course, uh, the woodwork, or not wood workshops. I don't know. I, pl I played this game for like 500 hours. I still don't know what these buildings are called. <laughs> Industrial lumber mill. And then the uh, gear workshop. And we have some bot chargers and things that we're probably going to end up moving around a little bit to see if we can make stuff look just a touch nicer. Uh, but uh, the main goal that we had a long time back was to get our wood processing out of the center area here and focus instead on making this for food processing because this is where we're growing all of our food. We have all sorts of other stuff that we want to get to. Of course, underneath all this, we have wood storage. Uh, this is all going to go away once we have all this production moved downstairs, uh, as it were, and uh, we're instead going to have food storage for processing up here, the raw foods. And then the ready-to-eat foods are what actually go here. If we uh, put on tab, you can see we already have that set up to hold stuff. We've got uh, pretty much comprehensive food storage for as much as we could possibly make. Almost any of this kind of food. Uh, we just have to get the processing a little bit more under control. And we will make sure to do that. Uh, expand some of these big storages right here uh, across the way and so on and so forth. But there's plenty to get to today. We're going to do as much as we can. And I did want to start out. Uh, I asked you guys if you had any opinions on letters that you might want to put here. And I got a lot of suggestions. But I think my favorite one is to just spell out power. Because that's what power goes here. <laughs> and uh, people wanted to know if there are exclamation points in this. Um, there are not. It's A through Z, 0 through 9, and then some accents in different things but uh yeah that is that and we'll let them uh we'll let them put those letters in get that constructed i just i just think that's cool to put that there and we'll go ahead and move on with everything else we have some bots that aren't assigned to anything so that was part of the reason i thought about you know maybe turning this middle district into its own or middle district this middle ring into its own district because uh, the way that this is set up it would not be that difficult. We have all this connectivity at every single corner. So uh, we'd have to put a lot of those um, district crossings in. But we have small gates. Uh, that I believe this is part of a mod. I, I have not confirmed, but I, I think this is part of a mod. And the small gate would actually be perfect for uh, these individual paths right here. We just put this right on top of things very, very easily make the second tier its own district. We would just have to have uh, a pretty good amount of bots up here. And we do have power that we are running up and down, uh, at least running up this way. And we'll get everything else figured out as we uh, get into that. But I think that's doable. I'm not gonna say for sure that we're gonna get that done today, but that is on my radar, along with a couple of other things. Uh, we gotta get motivatoriums in place, but uh, as we discovered last time, those have to be put on solid ground. And that is going to take a little bit of time to get to. But another good uh, idea that I was posited in the comments was to put in these builder's huts on top of the large industrial piles here that we have for all of our logs. 
Now, if we made this middle area a separate district, that kind of makes it impossible uh, to have them build up here. But uh, I do think that did give me a couple of good ideas for ways to use this space. Uh, we could put engines on top, depending on how we want to have power connected. I could put some engines on top here and then just have the power that those generate linked into uh, the upstairs right here quite easily. Because, you know, we have all these logs right here. We're not going to use all of them. So why don't we actually do that right now? Just right off the bat. I'll put six here. And the reason I'm doing six is because if I do eight, then uh, the power outlet is going to be right here on this path, and we don't necessarily want to block that off. But uh, the way that this is shaping up is going to be really, really good because we can have the power come down here and then we can just go right into something right here. We could have maybe a building that processes some of the wood or just put three of them, depending on how we want the uh, power to go in. But I was thinking we could put one here and then maybe, maybe if we got real nasty with it, we, <laughs> we could put a seventh engine right there. Uh, but for the time being, I think this is a very smart uh, way to do this. I am going to pause uh, everything except this one because uh, we don't have... Oh, they already put 20 metal blocks in this. Oh, well, can't really do too much about that. But uh, I want them to build this one first so everything gets connected. And I think that will be fine. Uh, so I will right now just go ahead and put this guy right here. That will work out perfectly fine. We're just going to trial this, see if we like it. If we don't, then no harm, no foul. We'll just move on with our lives and do something else. But if we do like it, then I think that's going to be a very, very good thing for us to be able to do here. Now, we have the option to put a seventh uh, engine, or we can put a building that uses a 4x2 slot. Uh, we also have the wood workshop. In theory, in theory, uh, these corners are supposed to be all set up like this, where we have our pine trees uh, growing all of our resin. Realistically, we're not going to need that much of it to have this everywhere. But um, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. We got some ideas. So for right now, uh, I'm just going to have this set up as a. Uh, I guess I'll just do a four way. That'll be fine. Get that situated on top like so. You know the drill. Right the way up here, and then. Uh, because of how this is set up, if I want it to be a big, ugly, universal thing, then I can just go straight across. Or if I want it to look clean, I can make it look ugly in other ways by uh, by putting uh, these right here. And I think that's what we're going to do just because that's the way we did it before. So that means that's okay, right? That always absolves your architectural sins when you do some stupid garbage like this. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll get that put in place, and then that will pretty much continuously power the upstairs here and uh, so on and so forth. And I think if we do this on top of all of these, well, we actually haven't, we haven't built over here. We've got some, uh, got some other trees that have to get cut down. What is the lumberjack flag? Uh, there should be another one over here. No, maybe not. We've got, uh, we've got lots of cutting that we need to do. Lots of cutting. We haven't quite gotten to for whatever reason, but I guess we have enough unemployed beavers might as well just put a couple more in here, let them get to that. But I did like that idea. Speaking of power transformation, transformation, whatever. Someone was asking in the comments whether or not I had set all these to pause when droughts start. And I don't know. So we're going to go around and check. I want to believe that I did that, but you never know for sure. Aha. Well, I'm glad we went and checked because I did not have that set. So these say there's no power. Uh, why is that? That's connected here. That's connected here. Is that because... I don't even know. Because neither of these are rotating, right? No. So maybe it's... Um... Oh, it's because this is disconnected and that's how it gets its power <laughs> through this thing. That was my fault, because this one was the one I'd originally put in to go underneath our barracks, and we uh, did not end up using that. So I guess uh, the lesson here is to just completely uh, require all of this to be built immediately and go in at turbo mode. 
trying to get this accomplished sooner rather than later. So uh, do let me know in the comments if you think this, uh, putting the engines on top of the infinite wood storage, is a good idea. Uh, ever since they made them have the connections on three sides, uh, my distaste for them has decreased dramatically. And we know we can t make use of the power pretty much constantly anyway. And we don't have to have the power shafts running all over the map if we have it set up like this, where it just comes in right here. It'll be connected just fine. And we'll be much much better off for it so we will uh take care of that but i do think i want to make this a separate district just for bots very very soon based on the incredible lag that we are having so let's turn our bot production back on um i will go ahead body mcbot build that never gets old i'm going to turn these part factories back on because we need more bots and we will have to do our best to make sure we can accommodate everything I love that power. Beautiful. All right, so this is all hooked up. Boy, that sure is ugly, but it does work. Uh, these are not throwing any no power problems. All right, cool. Yes, I love the potato frame rate, but uh, it will be worth it in the long run. We'll get everything figured out. It'll be A-OK. -okay. So we just have to decide where we want our district center to be. Uh, it's not really a great answer, or what should go where, unfortunately. But uh, having instead of having these giant, giant district crossings, I think these small gates are going to be much better. They're just staffed on each side by one. So um, that will help solve some of our uh, bio beaver unemployment. But honestly, they're not going to really need to move stuff between the districts. At least not between the wood area and the food area, because the bots don't have to eat. And the bio beavers aren't going to need any wood products unless they're doing construction, which the bots are already kind of taken care of for the most part. I think, unless I haven't set those, I thought I had. No, these are all uh, these are all bio beavers in the builder sets. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did it that way. But we'll uh, go ahead and just check on. Oh yeah, we're making tons of power. 18,000. 18, wow. How about that? It's only going to get better. But this will make sure that we can keep everything running as, uh, as best we can and continue with all of this stuff. Right now we have we've got six of these things. I've got one more here. I admittedly probably should have made this a gear workshop instead. Um, but this is all just log storage. So I thought that would make more sense to do uh, that there. We might end up changing stuff around. I don't know. Uh, the gear situation probably long term we're going to need a lot more than we have but we also have oh thank you email that I always managed to not remember to mute thank you for doing that for me appreciate it very much but like I said we have six of them down here it's really not the end of the world if we don't have a billion um, but we also we subsisted for quite some time on just the six that were up here so that seems to be a-okay uh, power transference between here and here, well, between all of this and here seems to be dependent on these buildings being here. So we're going to need to, uh, can I need to figure something out? I'm not entirely sure how to do it. Um, we'll have to, uh, experiment with that because I know that the barracks conduct power, but I don't know exactly what we're going to be building down here. Now, if it's more of these kind of, uh, food processing buildings, then I guess that would make sense. It probably would be a smart idea for us to have another another six of these. But uh, I don't know. If, if we end up having a thousand beavers, I don't even know if the game's going to let me do a thousand beavers, honestly. That could just be a, hey, the, the playthrough's over. Let's see if we can actually have a thousand here because it's probably going to be unplayable with that many beavers in the first place. But uh, we'll get it figured out. Should not be super difficult. Just have to be diligent and uh, get everything taken care of. But uh, where was I over here with these things? Yeah, um, I was going to try and figure out you know, whether I was going to put bot chargers or something else up here. I could actually very easily, very easily do that the way this is set up. In fact, yeah, if I do the, uh, if I do this, and then I just put bot chargers here, then guess what I can do? Mm, yes, lag. 
I can put that there, and then in these areas, I can just make these into, uh, what do you call them? Yep, that's their name. Uh, gear workshops. I can swap those out if the need arises. So I think that, wow, they built that quick. <laughs> I think that will end up being uh, A-OK, -okay, perfectly fine. But we got to get our, uh, got to get our stuff together here. I guess we also didn't need to have these district crossings, these giant ones here. We probably could, could have just put the small ones. But I figured that would be uh, kind of one of those simple, iconic, fun things to do to have that sitting there. All right, so I digress considerably and constantly. We need to have somewhere to put our uh, our district center in. And I think, I think in this corner, if we want to provide uh, two separate lower districts, uh, we could have them just kind of separated here to here and put this in this corner. So what I'm going to have to do to get this to actually work, I'm going to have to pause this and then... Oh, you know what I didn't consider is that um, this has power running on top of it. I guess I should unlock this, see what... Uh, yeah, so this uses the old district gate model from before they had... Um, uh, this style of a district crossing you used to have uh, this gate would separate districts, but there would only be a transfer of goods between districts by using uh, two separate buildings, one to receive and one to send. So you could you could kind of set one way trade up that way. That was a long time ago. I think that was, was that Alpha th Alpha three. This is an ostrich. Uh, update three, maybe. I think they changed it for update four when they removed the district limits. I'm assuming that's when that was. I don't know, I've been playing this game for a long time. I got a lot of hours in this thing. It's, it starts to blend together. But um, for this to work, we are going to need to disconnect uh, some of these paths here. That is a ladder there. So if I come back behind here, all I gotta do is just get rid of that path. And then in the middle here, I can have that be, wait, why does that sit on the, okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, I was about to say, why does that sit on the border here? But if I make that right there, now that is a separate district, and I can only assume that's going to carry the path over also, but uh, we, we basically need to have these completely separated. Or else problems are going to occur. So forgive me, this will take a little bit of time, but I think it's going to be well worth it if I can actually click, please. Thank you. Yes, good. Yeah, we'll get this situated. I'll take this corner piece out. There's this little tiny path railing we got to click. This game really does not want me messing with this. Okay, get rid of that. And then it was these two. Very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this and Oh, yeah, see, this is already such a joy. I'm <laughs> messing with all this. I'm going to time lapse the rest of this uh, mercifully and we'll uh, we'll be uh, all done with that. The, the hard the hard part is going to be getting this because this is three layers. Uh, I decided that would be smart to do that way. So, uh, you know what they say? No good deed goes unpunished. Anyway, I will see you on the other side of the time lapse after I figure that out. Okay, so um, hopefully you caught what I just did. Uh, I originally put these district uh, small gates on top of this big, tall structure, and then I realized that was completely stupid and pointless because I'm not going to be able to use the paths under them anyway. So after I did that, I came all the way back around and did that. So now we got a bunch of these. Uh, each side should have six of these small gates. And, well, except for this one because this already had this power shaft in place, and we might end up removing... Uh, as we put uh, a couple more of these in each corner. But uh, for starters, we have this set up the way it is. Uh, this this one would be the one that would go away right here when we uh, duplicate our 
uh, setting right there. But the paths have all been disconnected. And uh, somebody pointed out in the comments that one of these wasn't connected in the first place after I built it. But uh, that problem is no longer a problem because all of this is uh, set ready to go. But obviously they have to build these. They still have to come in there and do that. So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, have our fingers on the correct keys to manipulate the thing. But we need to make a district center for our new district. Um, I pushed the wrong button again. But uh, this is still going to be its own Body McBotville uh, name, which means that since this middle ring currently is going to be one district, I'm probably going to split it in two, but for right now it's going to be one. We will once again be taking submissions for a name for a new district. So uh, please be creative and appropriate, not inappropriate and the conjunction and joining two different ideas and appropriate with your suggestions. And we'll, uh, we'll run a poll sometime next week. Wait, what's not, uh, what's not separate? Oh, you know what? You know what I bet it is? Is our path here is still connected somewhere. Anyway, we need to, um, we need to identify where that is because we're going to have, uh, we're going to have some problems if there still is a connection somewhere. I was almost certain that I still had this uh, hooked up correctly here. See, that's that's showing us a separate uh, district path in here. This is showing as the same Y. So this is connected across here. But it's showing that same red color. I don't know. Maybe that's just because it's too far away and the color is not actually changing because it's a district. But that's that's separated. There's nothing linking those at all. That's separate. That's separate. Those are both separate. This is uh, not connected over here, so that doesn't matter. That doesn't join in the corner. I don't know where it would still be connected. That's removed. It's not connected down here, because I know for a fact that's a different thing. This is not a path. So I don't know what to tell you about different districts not being, uh, not being connected right. Maybe I'm just too stupid to figure this out. I don't know. District crossing, unless... Unless this won't work without the district crossing also being there. That's an interesting thought. If that's the case... I don't know. Let's, um, let's just have them build those gates, because maybe... Maybe I can't build that until they're actually uh, actually separated. This Okay, so this still says it's connected to Beaverburg 15. Why? It's going to be really funny if these small gates don't actually work, and I just wasted a whole bunch of time. We'll, uh, we'll get it figured out, I suppose. Because it hasn't... Well, I also haven't defined a, a third district here. It's just kind of been its own thing. So which one of these did I place first? I actually don't remember. They put planks there. There should be logs. And that one's done. It just has to get actually built. Me too, Jeff. Um, so now, now I'm very intrigued. I guess all we have to do... All we can do now is just wait. Not much else available to us at this point in time. But that's how we learn. Try new things and see if it works. If it does, great. If not, well, then that's going to be very irritating, but uh, we'll figure out some sort of solution to it. So I wonder I wonder why they haven't come to finish this yet. Maybe it's because they ran out of beavers. They're all building all this other garbage. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Someone is doing the work for us here. And that's in place. Now it says must be connected to two districts. So that says that uh, this area over here is not being read as a new district. But maybe now that one of them's been put in place. No, it says it has to be separated. Uh huh. Okay, well, when they actually put all of these in, maybe it'll work. And maybe it's just one of those things where I've, uh, I've used a deprecated thing. Wow, that was a whole lot of lag. Uh, used a deprecated thing that doesn't work at all. Who knows? We'll find out. Looks like they are bringing the different pieces here. 
that's all done. Mmm, yes, lag. This side is all done. This side is all done. This side is all done, which means that now these two are the last ones to be done. All right, so now this one is the last one to be done. Just need someone to come do that, and they did. All right, so now we got um, this still registering as Beaverburg 15. And I can't place this because it thinks it's the same district still. Okay. Now, now we got to think, because if this doesn't actually work, that's going to be a huge pain in the butt. Uh, it's going to be a huge pain to get this, to get this put back in correctly. So why don't we... Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then build this here instead. If I have to put these at every single crossing, that's going to be a huge pain. Uh, but we'll get that uh, we'll get that put in place, and then I guess we'll figure out uh, what it is we are going to be doing here. I need to redo this. I know uh, we'll get there. But I would imagine what's going to end up happening is uh, we won't have to have so many crossings all at different points around the thing here. We might just have to reduce it to a few. Because it wouldn't be too hard to just put these as crossings too, but that's that's a lot of buildings. And that's a lot of uh, staff that you have to have set up for these things, especially because this would essentially be a pass-through here. So I almost, almost have half a mind to completely divorce... Uh, this middle section from this uh, ring district, if you will. But now I am, I'm just so curious about how this is going to work. So maybe, maybe it actually has to have crossing. No, because this gives me access to the uh, distribution panel. So either I missed something somewhere, or uh, something else is terribly broken. The world may never know. Just need them to finish this to see if that solves our problem. Because I don't think there's any other path anywhere that could possibly be connected. I mean, we went through all of this. Unless it's counting this little bit right here. So we'll, we'll completely remove that. This is two separate gates. Although, honestly, we probably should uh, just remove this period. This is going to end up being power at some point. Give me the path out of here. So maybe it doesn't like them being too close together. I mean, that's not right there. Who knows? Again, part of the fun that comes with playing mods. Uh, this is going to go away. This will be power at some point. I am sure. Although it might not have to be, honestly. The way this is... Uh, the way this is set up, right here, same kind of story. All right, we already did. No, we did not. So I don't know where else could possibly have uh, those similar kinds of connections. I think we've pretty much, pretty much taken care of all of this, if at all possible. Well, this whole tower stuff is going to be taken down anyway. But just for the sake of plausible deniability, get that done. That's looking good. See, now this says has to be two separate districts. But if I come in here with a district center, it still won't let me. It says they are not have to be separated by a district crossing. So if I do this, that is acting like it's all... Hold on. Was this the problem the whole time? No, because this corner piece wasn't there. Alright, well, that was an idea at least. Unless... No, that doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the thing there. Hmm. What a curious and confounding conundrum we have found ourselves in. Probably doesn't hurt to just go ahead and get rid of this entirely. But maybe it doesn't uh, doesn't recognize this as its own district because it's connected in some other way. I mean, this does go all the way around, and it is connected, but only through here. That goes there, that goes there. There's no possible way to get around this. 
I am well and truly stumped, friends, as to why this does not want to play nice. There is no other way. There's no other way to get up there. What a drag. If, if this is actually not going to let me do anything here. That's a huge pain. All right, so let's... um. Let's do a bit of a stupid here and uh, remove all of the gates, the new modded asset that we're working with, this gate. I don't even know what mod it's from or even if it is modded at all. I just assume it is because I don't remember seeing it in the game before. I could be very wrong. If I am, please do uh, roast me appropriately in the comments and let me know if I am in fact mistaken. But. I'll just go ahead and get rid of this. I mean, if it doesn't work anyway, I might as well just put the path back in and leave it as the same district. But I was very interested in trying to reduce the lag, maybe to my own uh, detriment. So now that says two separate districts, and it still won't let me connect it. Separated by district crossing, but that's the only connection. That's the only one. There is no other way, no other way to get through. The paths do not connect. This is the only building they can use to cross. Like, surely. Surely that's not not what's happening here. That's not connected at all. This is no longer connected. There is no... Like, if I click on a building here, we can trace our paths. There is nothing else. There is nothing else that crosses. It just stops. Like, right? I'm not, I'm not insane, right? Like, there's nothing here. Not a thing. Wait a second. All right. I win the stupid award. <sighs> it was right here the whole time. All right. I would like to hereby apologize to the small gate mod, whatever that is, because clearly I am too stupid to be trusted. District 3. Get rid of these. <laughs> Uh, all right. That's, um, that is quite a large blow to my self-esteem, but, uh, glad we, uh, solved that problem. Jeez. I cannot believe I missed that. Well, I kind of can, but anyway, we'll just, you know, conveniently put these back in, pretend we didn't, uh, didn't just make a really stupid mistake. We'll just move on with our lives. That's all you can do, pretty much. Hopefully this helps our lag. Hopefully. Uh, it's not going to be a one-size-fits-all uh, lag proofing, but uh, it should substantially help. Man, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so bad. So now we have District 3, soon to be named. Uh, you can submit, of course, your ideas in the comments. Uh, make sure, because uh, I, I do go and search for district names in the comments, make sure you put uh, at least some reference to this is a district name suggestion or the word district even would help so I can narrow comments down. Because so sometimes we do tend to get a lot of those and it's hard to pick them out without some way to filter. So that's looking fine. Now, oh, here's that lag again. But it's hopefully not quite as bad. Uh, we have the opportunity to put in some of these uh, hauling posts and builder's huts and stuff up here. So this is conducting power. This is conducting power. But um, actually, you know what? This is already set up like this. Uh, this storage is here for berries and pine resin. That's okay. Uh, why don't we? It's not like we're hurting for space, right? So we'll just... Um, <laughs> Just put a just put a hauling post right there. It's fine. How would how did I have that set up there? Oh, that's some sort of weird. Uh, I didn't want to put that there. I want to put this on this side for no no particular reason. But I can more easily duplicate that here. Same kind of deal. Uh, we aren't going to need to have a billion of these, but if we ever split this into separate districts, we're going to want to have. Uh, access to all that fun stuff there. Mm, rotation, please. Thank you, autosave. Just pop that there. This will go here, and then 
I've got to remember that this scrap metal can go away, except I might not have anywhere else to put it. Well, we'll get it figured out. Not going to worry about that being all over the ground. It'll get picked up. No problems there. But um, if there is, in fact, no storage for it, we will have to build another one. Uh, so it can be exported. I need to make sure uh, Body McBotville is slurping up all of the... Uh, oh, what a terrible way to say that. Uh, slurping up all the scrap metal. It needs to just be constantly absorbing it. Uh, so let's put in... Just so this can get out of here. I'll just make a storage set that do... Not that. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> set that to scrap metal. And then we'll let them build our... Uh, doohickeys here. Where is my... I went the wrong way. Where is my district center? There we go. District 3 has a population of absolutely no one. Okay. I feel like that's not... what. Oh, we have 41. Okay, guess what? Guess what? We are... Um, we are having 40 bots only. 40 bots. That hopefully will... Uh, let us take care of all of our stuff. So now, oh boy, I uh, I should have done this before placing all the buildings. Tell you what, let's pause and just get this done. Uh, buildings of a type, and then go back around and do it. I should have not done it this way, but I did it anyway. This is. Uh, emptying. They're not really going to have any room for that. This is already empty, so that can be gone. Uh, this needs to be moved to here. They got a lot of stuff to clean up. I don't know why they just left all this sitting there on the ground, so I don't know I don't know what we'll do about that, but we'll... Uh, oh, I gotta unlock this for haulers. Gotta unlock that for... I call them haulers. They're bots. Yeah, this is... um. This is going to be quite the ordeal, getting all of this marked for bots. I didn't think about that even being a possibility until it was too late, and now I've got a now I got the responsibility of doing all this. But we'll uh, we'll just keep on keeping on, get all this stuff taken care of. Uh, I think this is an opportunity for another time lapse. I'm going to try to start being better about these, uh, but. By the time I'm finished with that, we'll uh, probably be all good to go. So I will see you on the other side of that. All right, I think I think we've gotten all this uh, hooked up correctly. Uh, we'll double check here and take a second. Uh, looks like we have uh, 115. My God, I should not have put this many in. 115 vacancies here in District Three, and. Th three beaver vacancies. So I should have done it this way to begin with, but um, let's just scroll down here and check. I'm sure I just missed something super obvious. Uh, see, gear workshops are good. Industry is good. Okay, here we go. This is lumberjack flags. I missed a couple lumberjack flags. One here. Um, I'm assuming the rest of them are lumberjack flags. No. Um, gates, I think I got all. Tapper Shack I got all. So where's the uh, where's the other beaver jobs? I don't see anything here in the left side. Aha! Gather a flag. And there's the other one. Okay, so that should be... Um, yeah, we have a, <laughs> 117, 117 vacancies. So I'll tell you what we'll do is um, all these hauling posts. Again, I need to do it this way. Uh, all these hauling posts are going to go down to one because... We just don't have enough bots, but I want those buildings to still be there. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I've got eight lumber mills. That's probably fine. Lumberjack flags. They're not populating all this stuff. We do need at least one in one gate somewhere. So I guess what I will do is I'll just uh, make sure that's there. We got to get bots in here, boys and girls even though most of you are my age or older. Uh, let's check and see. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have any bots 
Oh, we have 33 extra bots. Um, so guess what, Bucko? Um, you are going immediately to District 3. So now I got 70. 70 down here. Doesn't really seem to have helped our FPS that much, honestly. But at least uh, when we place buildings, it won't have to be uh, quite so much of an ordeal. The main problem we're going to run into now is having all these bots here and not a lot of chargers. But if we don't have to have a ton of power links, I think I might still want to do another one of these over here eventually, so I'll leave that open. But we need to uh, put in a couple more in the way of chargers. Uh, just pretty much at all, anywhere. At least this is faster now. That was always kind of a uh, kind of a huge pain to uh, get done. Do I have any any more power over here at all? That's probably uh, a pretty good reason why this hasn't worked quite as well as I've wanted it to. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll get it figured out. I guess I can start. Oh, I never built the other uh, giant stuff over here. Okay. So how did I uh, how did I do this before? I guess I need to remember before I talk about. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fix all my stuff. It's gonna be perfect. Um, that works. Yeah, that'll go right here. Mm, yes, auto save lag. Thank you. Did I did I build this on the wrong side? No. Okay. Okay. Good. That was about to be. Um, unpleasant that will go here that will go here uh, this was a lumber mill I'm not gonna worry about rotating the doorway because at this point it's probably uh, a no longer relevant thing but I am gonna keep this at the same height so that will be here like so and then I'm gonna have to have a uh, a platform now I could if I felt so inclined, uh, use the shaft tunnels. Except I kind of can't because these aren't hard enough to put it on there. Never mind. Disregard. I thought this would make sense. I can do I can do the bridges, but I have to have a uh, have to have a good reason to do that. Uh, what is six span? Yeah, I would have to have. Um, an actual bridge over here. So that, at, at this point, it isn't really a. Uh, it isn't really that much of an advantage to use those. So I will just. Uh, I have to put this in like so. You know the drill. We've done this like eight hundred thousand times at this point. Maybe not quite that many, but uh, at this point, you should know what I'm about, right? It's pretty much the uh, the only thing that we know for sure here. Yeah, just get this hooked up. At some point in the future, I might get better at this, but for the time being, this is what it is. Nope, 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 nope. Rotate. Rotate. There, so that'll work out. How did I have that set up over here? I already forgot, man. Um, oh, there was just... Um, wait, why did I do it like that? Oh, okay, because I thought I might put in a... Um, Another engine there. Okay, well, I guess I could reserve that right in the future if I so chose, but I will go ahead and just do that. This will be another industrial lumber mill, and then on the side, you already know some bot chargers. Set this up as prioritized by howlers. That should be by default to bots, and it is. So we'll get those up and running, and that hopefully. Oh, by the way, there's a drought. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, if you saw that or not. But we're making good uh, good progress here. Making good progress. We just have to be a little bit more diligent in our management of said progress. Nine days, no big deal. We've got a pretty good amount of power, and this will uh, only improve with the addition of our engines here. Yes, yeah, so we've got uh, got quite quite the fun awaiting us here. We'll just go ahead and get this put in place. It should not be a problem whatsoever. Just make sure this is all good to go. Nice and easy. So on and so forth. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start. 
Not at this exact moment, but we will go ahead and start getting the uh, episode wrapped. I guess we could consider this a success overall, although I wish I had done this a little bit better in terms of getting the, uh, the district separated. But at the end of the day, the result is still the same. We have now a third district. I guess technically this would be the second district because it's second out from the... Uh, the top, but we uh, we have made some good strides. We made some good strides to try and get ourselves in a better position. The FPS has not really improved to any uh, appreciable degree, which is regrettable, but uh, you can't say we didn't try, and that is what matters. Well, I guess that's something that goes in a, a coming-of-age movie for children or adults who want to feel like children. Um, the reality is results matter just as much as trying in the real world. So, uh, well, we, we still didn't fail. So I guess we can be, uh, we can be satisfied with that. Let's, um, oh, I hope I don't have to come back in and do this in the future. I just want them to build the logs first. Not like we don't have enough. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be having some interesting uh, problems if we can't get this situated. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, the bots are out of power. They're out of power. There is no power because we don't have any bots because we don't have any power. All right. Um, how's our situation looking here? Okay, no, they can still charge. They can still charge because they're drawing power from upstairs. They just have to stop being stupid and they have to actually go charge themselves. Yeah, we might need to uh, might need to put in a couple more charging positions here. In fact, these engines on the very outside, I might have to replace with an entire row of charging stations based on the amount of bots that we're going to have. But I, I want to try and make it work with what we have here. I think that I think that probably would work okay. Man, we have so much uh, so much to do. Oh, it also probably doesn't help that I don't have any builder's huts. I just have all these, uh... Yeah, I got all these, uh, hauling posts. We will need the hauling posts later on, but I, uh... I may have been a little too hasty. I'm gonna replace some of these with builder's huts. One there. I guess I will... That's the caps lock, not the A key. Thank you. I guess I'll do... Half of them can be, uh... Can be builder's huts instead of hauling posts. As we know it's going to be important to have those. Then maybe later on we can put those back and we'll let them come pick up all their scraps. So on and so forth. But that should help us out. At least it doesn't take forever to place items on this path anymore. Now, how far away are we? 134. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to be putting a separate district in here if I had, uh, if I had to hazard a guess. Uh, but this this needs to get put in uh, immediately, post haste. Get that in place. So uh, we will have to just kind of let them do their thing and come back and address it at a later point in time. But uh, I like the power being here. I think this is cool. So we'll need to find a place to put the entire text of Body McBotville, which, um, how many letters is that? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think, if I've done my math correctly. Should be should be 16, including the space. So that is going to be... This, yeah, that would fit here. But then uh, this power here might not... Uh, might not be the best. We might have to uh, might have to just replace this. I don't know. You can uh, offer your opinions in the comments if you have uh, any particular inclination in that regard. But I believe I've gotten most of my stuff done that I wanted to, uh, with the exception of uh, I wanted to do motivatoriums, but that's going to be uh, a little bit of a challenge as we continue working on the rest of the stuff. I didn't have any of the recreation turned on because I didn't want to uh, use up our power. I want to make sure we can still run all of our industrial stuff. And I believe in the next seven days, we probably, probably can. The battery discharge rate right now is only, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how many days that is. 11 days, maybe. 
I think we're going to be okay. But uh, if I turn any of this stuff back on that I had turned off, like the monuments and everything, then uh, that will obviously affect that. But right now, it's looking looking okay. I did not delete these. Remember, because we have uh, to figure out how we're going to get power across here, we will probably just be replacing these with our uh, fermenters and such. But we have not quite... Wait, hold on. Does this little knob thing move up and down when this building's operating? I I mean, I guess it does, but I don't know how I never noticed that. That's actually pretty cool. I can't believe I didn't see that before. But I went the wrong way again. Um, we will most certainly have our work cut out for us as we continue on. Um, check our... We have 60 unfilled. 60 unfilled. We have in... Uh, Body McBotville, we have one unfilled. Uh, up here, we shouldn't have any bots left. Oh, no, we have we have three that aren't working. All right. Well, we'll we'll get it figured out. We we got to make some more bots. Uh, obviously, when we have our uh, our grease a little bit better uh, distributed, things will, I guess, run a little more smoothly. To pardon the, uh, well, it's not really a pun because it's not wordplay, but it is a tie-in with you know grease and things being lubricated. Anyway, I digress. That's, um, yeah, <laughs> that's dumb. So we'll, we'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, got our third district, which do not forget to name it. Uh, got that done. We, uh, fixed a couple small problems and we started, uh, the process of really having the wood processing done in the middle layer. Still had a little bit more work to do in there, but I think we can be pretty happy with this. So again, thanks for being here. Appreciate you as always beard boosters as well. All of their contributions making it possible for these videos to keep coming out just about every day. Not necessarily every, every day, but my intention is as much as possible to put a video out if I can. And if not, then a live stream. And if I can't do that, well, then I'll let you know <laughs> and we'll see what we'll see what's happening. But uh, do not forget uh, upcoming on Tuesday is the finale for the Folktales Hard Mode series. Uh, Wednesday, we got more Prison Architect. Thursday, back in this playthrough. And then Friday, we got a new game to uh, start taking the place of the Folktales playthrough. So get excited about that. Should be a good time. And uh, we will see what else ends up happening. But yep, that's it. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope you have a fun and a safe time. And we'll see you again very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.